Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm just going to show you guys how to make your own custom theme for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, so, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your web browser and you're going to go to a website called icon. MySiteMyWay.com Just like that. And it's going to pop up and it's going to have all these icons. All these different. These are styles. That, uh, it's not just that one icon. There's lots of icons, but I mean, they have you know all these different ones that you, you can choose from. And what you're going to do, you want to usually do a category that has 14 because there's more subcategories. So, um, let me just choose one real quick. Okay, so they have all these different subcategories. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to just scroll through them and find ones that you want to replace your icon with. So... I'll start with one and show you how to do it, and then you can do the rest of them. Um, obviously, you know, Facebook. It's Facebook. Um, you just click on it, and then you want to save it. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And then you want to open up Photoshop or some kind of other you know, program like Photoshop. And you want to make a new one that is 60 pixels by 60 pixel, pixels, just like that. And then you want to open up the one that you just did, you saved on your desktop. It helps sometimes if you save the file as the name of the application. Um, change the image size to, usually it's 80 by 80. It's not always. Sometimes they're bigger or smaller. Just drag it over. You can make it bigger so that you can center it. That one could be bigger. I'm not going to make it that much bigger. Probably do 90 by 90. It's a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh, just center it and then save. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to make a folder, name it your theme, not actually your theme, but you know what I mean, whatever you want to call it, and then inside that you're going to create another new folder called icons, and then you have to name it exactly the name of the application, so you know, watch for capital letters and stuff like that, spaces and whatnot. Uh, obviously it's called Facebook. Save it as a PNG file. And then save it. Press OK. Um, to get it into your phone, you're actually going to have to do SSH. If you don't know how to do that, there's lots of videos to show you how. Um, you have to open up WinSCP. And your host name. If you don't know what your host name is, go into your iPod or iPhone. And you're going to go to your settings and then Wi-Fi, and you should be connected to one to do this. Um, you there's a little blue arrow right next to it. Click on that, and then it'll say your IP address. Type in your IP address right here. Your username is going to be root, and your password is going to be Alpine. Um, so that's that, and then you're going to log in, and then you're going to you're actually gonna um, drag over this right here is your computer this right here is all of them in your iPhone just the raw files uh, go back one and go down to stash and then you go into themes these are the themes that you have find that one that you just made your theme drag it over and drop it and now it's in your phone so then all you have to do is choose it in Winterboard and it'll respring and that should come up as your app now. So thanks for watching guys and remember rate, comment, and subscribe.